I'm Aisha Birahman. I'm a PhD student in the University of New Mexico. My name is Cassandra Brayfield. Um, I am a fourth year PhD graduate student at University of California, Davis. Hi, my name is Fatima Ehsan and I'm a graduate student at Rice University's Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. Hi, my name is Maitre Marathe. I am a fourth year PhD student in Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Hi, I'm Neha Vinjapuri and I'm currently a sophomore at Stanford University studying computer science. I'm Nibedita Karmakar. I'm a fourth year PhD student at University of Minnesota Twin Cities. I've always loved observing the trends of technological advancements. My mother, one of the strongest women I have ever known, has always encouraged me to pursue my goals no matter how unconventional it may be. Having been introduced to it in high school, so learning that it was out there to be a material scientist, and then also recognizing how this science and industry can help with the future health of the planet as far as energy and environment liking for technical problem solving uh, led me to pursue a degree in electrical engineering in my graduate and undergraduate research and now I am developing a less invasive way to stimulate the brain for the treatment of neurological disorders and every day I'm very excited to wake up uh, thinking that I can make a difference in other people's lives. Since high school I was interested in math and physics and I wanted to work on sustainable technologies. The area of energy access and renewable energy appeared to be at the intersection of this, so I decided to pursue a degree in electrical engineering. The scholarship and even having the opportunity to receive it is truly impactful for me because, you know, when you're working on different projects and trying to explore different interests, I think it's very, it's a difficult choice to make between wanting to dive into something really deep and not having the resources to do so. You know, sometimes you have to decide, should I do this or, you know, should I put it off because I don't have those things. Um, but having the scholarship definitely allows me to take that next step and actually pursue those passions that I have in a very deep sense. I do want to continue working on um distilling technical questions out of real world scenarios and you know developing um, energy products by interacting with end users. One of the options that I'm considering is working for a startup or a small scale company in the space of distributed energy resource management and home energy backup systems. To encourage people I want to say that maybe we always uh, may not feel confident about ourselves but we should never give up what I faced in my life and how I came over here. And I, I, can, I can encourage them like, uh, we should never give up. Whatever dream they have, they should try to reach there. And they are all also capable of like me, like if I can do this this far, like if I can come this far, then they can also do that. Even though I took the path of academia and being in school for like 12 years, being in higher education for like 12 years, a PhD is for people who want to include, at least in the STEM fields, a PhD is for people who want to include research in their everyday work life. And so if that's you and you want to go into research like myself, or if you want to, you know, work at a national lab or be in academia, then absolutely get the PhD. Yeah, I know I, I really liked, like, I so far I have liked interacting with Cadence like so much. And I'm so thankful that you guys actually encouraged us to reach out to you know, like different members in the Cadence community. like. Even after, you know, everything was done, like scholarship was given and everything like that, I think that made a huge difference. Like, I'm really impressed, to be honest, by all the steps Cadence is taking. And I, I'm really thankful. I'm very, very thankful. Yeah.